and uh, whether the Ministry of Environment can be part of a checklist. Honorable uh, Commissioner, I think I'll uh, have you deal with that. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Um, part of the requirement for assessing the building plan for Africa, um, we have a um, genetic challenge for areas that are prone to drainage uh, change. We seek drainage uh, channels for before the approval of such uh, buildings. Sometimes we also have um, uh, Ministry of Transport clearances. Of recent, now we have the uh, Metro Rail uh, uh, clearance. For example, um, maybe second quarter of next year, we probably start on the uh, the green line, which is from um, uh, VGC to Embed. So, um, but again, uh, in the master plan, it's already there. If you look at the road that we now from Embed down to around this one, on both sides of the road, you have some reasonable uh, uh, land as right of me. But again, in our usual way, we find that people are encouraging to do But every time we are ready, we go in there and change. So, normally, for areas that are going to drainage uh, roads, we normally see uh, drainage channels before our problems are given. And again, um, I've said, every approval that goes out, you have the carries the name of approving officer. So, in case of anything, um, it can be traced to that particular uh, officer and if there is a need for penalty, it will be he or she will be someone to face the consequence. So that is regularly uh, done. However, in the case of um, the judge that uh, we raised, again, we need to look at the root of that. You might find a situation where there has been some compromise on the path of the development, I suspect that there must be. Because if it's along the drainage route, there is a, a drainage clearance that is normally given by the Ministry of Environment and Water Resources. Now, on the Dr. Uh, Sorters, we have some um, list of regulated and approved uh, consultancy firms that engage in such uh, activities. But what we find is that uh, developers just approach in the way by way of uh, looking for the cheapest. And of course, um, you get that. But if they approach us, and that is why this issue of uh, planning information is very key. Please, I will. Uh, I plead with uh, my brothers and sisters in Iran, everything to development. Take this planning information very, very seriously. Before you go into source, uh, because um, property development is heavily capital intensive, very heavy capital goes into it, and you cannot afford to run into it with mistakes. So take the pain. Approach the planning office. Get the planning information. If you approach the planning office, you will have a list of um, consultancy firms that we can recommend. We are not going to say go to this or go to that. We will give you a list of those that we have been dealing with and we are sure that they can give us a reasonable uh, result. So it's important that we uh, do that. Now, regarding the uh, sharp uh, practices, of course, uh, it takes two to time, like they say. And um, if any officer is compromised, I mean, what is the cause of that uh, being compromised? It's because somebody is trying to seek something. You understand? So, on our own part, on our own part, if we do the right thing, if you don't have any reason to uh, compromise any officer, I don't want to go to. Uh, we don't have any reason to compromise any officer. And if we follow the system that is mapped out today, once you get your approval, planning permit, you approach the LAPSCA, building control. 
This agency established a time for building development, building production. And part of it is the request from the uh, builder or the consultant is the methodology. The methodology will show how you plan your site. And even part of the uh, requirement for under the uh, lab sky, before you commence your own particular building, you are supposed to notify your neighbor. Uh, what my brother just said there. You are supposed to notify your neighbor because you are going to disturb them for some time. So they need to be aware of what you are doing so that they don't, on a daily basis, uh, I get up to 40 petitions. And people have been right because I encourage people, you have the right, if there is anything that you are not comfortable with, you have the right to write to the ministry to seek assistance or clarification. So, uh, regarding both, anything that you see that is um, unusual or are not comfortable with, write to us and we'll look into it. And that's why we have all these setbacks. You cannot now go and put a bubble in such a way that it's going to cause nuisance to defense between you and your people. Thank you, sir. Thank, 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 thank you very much, sir. I'm just going to give one final minute to each of us to deal with the blockchain question. And then we can round up. You can see that uh, we are already under attack. Uh,